Hey, welcome back everyone to Wild Game Sunday. Uh, sorry about my voice, I'm a bit sick. And yes, I'll be cooking while I'm sick. Uh, no worries, because I did wash my hands with uh, soap and water. So uh, today I'll be making gorditas. Uh, in English, it's, it's like uh, little fatties or little chunks or something like that. Uh, but it's a, it's a Mexican dish. Uh, usually this is made with uh, chicken, but today I'll be using wild turkey. Uh, I'll be using around a pound to pound and a half of turkey. Like I said, uh, it's usually made with chicken. So if you don't have uh, turkey, uh, just go ahead and use chicken if you like. The ingredients you're going to need is tomato paste, tomato sauce, and if you guys want, you can use chunks of tomato. I like chunks of tomato because it gives the sauce a little bit more flavor. And uh, refried beans. Uh, or you can do your own beans, but if you do it that way, it's going to take a, little, a lot longer. Refried refry beans only takes a couple of minutes. And I like my beans spicy. It gives a little tang to the gorditas. Also, you're going to want some whole oregano. garlic powder, salt and pepper, red onions, Crisco so we can fry them in, and of course your masa, your ground corn flour to make the gorditas. And a uh, a comal. Uh, it's just uh, like a cast iron plate, I guess. Uh, you can, if you guys want one, you guys can either go to a Mexican grocery store and grab yourself one there, or you can go to Walmart and go to the kitchen aisle and you can probably find one. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just use an ordinary pan. It, that'll work too. Alright, so right now we're going to cook the turkey. And then we're going to work on the gordita part, all right? So, with the sauce and the turkey, you're going to want to make the sauce first, and then you're going to put your turkey or your chicken in first. So, grab yourself a good-sized saucepan, like this one. I'll be filling it halfway. So, I got half the water, half the pan is full of water. So, you're going to want to turn it up to medium heat get that going while the water's uh, getting ready to get heated up or starting to heat up gonna start putting some ingredients in there so first we're gonna chop up a sliver of uh, a red onion just go ahead and throw the whole thing in there now you're gonna want to grab your tomato sauce Open that up. I first dump half of the can and then once the sauce is ready I kind of add a little bit more just try, trying to get the flavor right. Next will be the tomato paste. For the tomato paste, it will be probably a, a teaspoon of tomato paste. And I got a, a spoon here that's around the same as a tablespoon. So, a scoop. I like a lot of flavor, so a big scoop for me.
Then you're going to want to put your salt and pepper. You're going to want to do like a teaspoon for both. I usually just eyeball it. And it looks like we're going to need some more pepper because we're out. Your whole oregano, you're going to want about a teaspoon also. Ground, uh, ground it up in your hand and then just sprinkle it in. And the last is the garlic powder. Around the sand, teaspoon. Just sprinkle it in there and that's it that's it for the sauce I usually wait till it's warm to do a taste test and then I'll start adding more ingredients to it to uh, to the to my liking I guess now now that this is cooking we're gonna start with the gordita part all right so while so, we're gonna mix this I'm gonna heat up the comal up to a me around medium high <coughs> So grab yourself a big bowl so you can mix everything into it. So you're going to want to put two, one cup to two cups in there. It just depends on how much chicken you put in your sauce or how much chicken you're going to use and how many people you're going to be serving. One and a half cups. So that's one and a half cups. And then it says to add one and a half cups of water and mix. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put add a cup and a half and see how it turns out. So that's one and a half cups of water. So now it's time to get your hands dirty. So just grab, just get your hands and just start mixing. So the turkey that we'll be using today is from last spring of uh, 2016. Uh, this turkey, he came out of nowhere when I was hunting. So, you know, there's the place where I hunt, there are several fields and there's a small field up on the hill. And one day I just decided to hunt that area uh, for an evening hunt. So the first, the first night I went up there you know, I started to call, but I was in the woods, and uh, three three toms coming came out running, and they couldn't see my decoys because I was in the woods, so they just they just passed. The next day, I set up on the edge of the field. I sat there, and I think it was like half hour later when this uh, mature tom showed up, and he showed up behind me on the left side, and. Uh, there was deer in front of me, so I had my binos out and I was watching them, and then I sent them down. And then something told me to look to the left. So when I looked to the left, five, ten yards away was this Tom. And we just looked at each other for a couple of seconds, and he started booking it. I grabbed my shotgun, I rose it, pulled the trigger, and it went click. It's because uh, my safety was on and then I took the safety off and then I shot him on the run and then he just tumbled and yeah it was a big old turkey too he had a nine and a half inch beard and I think a half inch to an inch spurs so he was a pretty dang good bird and also to find out if you put enough water or not enough water is when you start making the discs if the outside start to crack then that means there's not enough water in it so you're gonna just want to add just a little bit of water alright guys uh, the mixing is done uh, next is to make uh, the discs uh, what you're gonna want to do is make a little bit bigger than a golf ball size and then mash them up into the discs uh, I got a little trick that I do to make these discs is I grab uh, two small plates 
I grab a plate that has a ring on the bottom and one that doesn't. Uh, the ring on the bottom, I use that as a guide. And that's how big I'm going to be making the discs. So first, you know, grab a chunk, roll it up. A bit bigger than golf size, golf ball size, see, just like that. Grab the ball, right in the middle, mash it a bit, and then press down. See, it's almost to the edge of that ring. So I told you guys, uh, once you start making these discs, the dough will tell you if it needs more water or more masa in it see because if it starts cracking like this on the edges it means that it needs more water uh, I thought it was perfect but this the first disc tells me that it's not that it needs more water so I'm gonna be adding a little bit more water to the masa so, every single disc that you guys are gonna make is gonna go straight through the kumal uh, you're gonna want them uh, to be cooked uh, like a minute to two minutes on each side flip it up Flip them over and then put them on a plate and then, then I'll show you guys the next step after that. Alright, on to make the second disc. So just grab a piece. Make a golf ball size ball. Place it in the center. Make it flat a bit. Grab your other plate. And press down. Ah, oh, there you go. That's much better. I see here, not much cracking, cause I add a little bit more water. Could it might need a little bit more, but I think this is fine. So I'm gonna throw this one right on the kumal. Uh, this one's done. Goes on the done plate. And on with the second. So just continue doing this until all of your dough is gone. And then just, like I said before, just throw them on the, on the hot plate. So this, this has been cooking for a minute to two minutes, so it's time to flip it over. You see that golden brown? That's perfect right there. Okay, while I was making these, uh, the sauce has been cooking and it smells really good you guys so you're gonna want to have your sauce look like this the onions they're already limp so that's a good sign shows you that it's almost ready all right, you guys, I'm just going to be cutting this turkey into quarters so it'll fit into the saucepan. And make sure you guys cut off all the extra fat that's in there because you really don't need it on the turkey or on the chicken. The fat is not going to give any flavor at all. Uh, the sauce is just going to cook it in with your turkey or your chicken. So these are hot off the pan. Uh, they're easier to work with when they are hot. So next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a rim around these discs. So just grab both hands and just start pinching the edges. And it's still soft in the middle, so that's why you're able to make these discs. So once you make a rim around it, just take a little pinch right in the middle. Uh, I don't know the exact reason why you pinch the middle, it's just it's how my mom make some and that's how I grew up watching her do it so I do the same thing so you're gonna want to do this to every single disc that comes off so after you guys are making the rims you're gonna want to take out uh, a pan out and then start melting your Crisco in there you don't want a lot of it because the only thing we're gonna do is just fry up these uh, gorditas you're going to want to use enough to coat the whole bottom of the pan. So you're going to be using a lot of Crisco. Is it necessary? Actually, yes, it is. Because you want to have enough in here 
so you can actually start scooping the, the Crisco on onto these okay. to make it crisp from the bottom and from the inside all right so now that everything is melted start placing your gorditas inside be careful because once you put them in they'll start it'll start to uh, pop Alright guys, so your next step is to uh, heat up your refried beans. I already did that ahead of time. I pulled out the turkey or you got it shredded. And now the last step is building your gorditas. So first, you're going to want to grab yourself a disc. I'm going to be, I'll be making the little guys first because he's been starving since I started. So you grab yourself a disc. Get yourself uh, some beans. So you want to put a fair amount of beans in there. Not a lot, just enough to coat the bottom. Just like that. Next, you're going to want to get... Next, you want to get your turkey. So grab your turkey and put it on top of your beans. Then after your turkey, uh, get yourself some shredded cheese. You can either shred your, your own cheese or you can buy out the store that's already shredded. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. We already have a bag of shredded cheese, so we're going to be using mozzarella today. So just sprinkle as much cheese as you want on top and I'm making this one plain just for the little guy and uh, that's how I like mine too I'm going old school I always like eating these plain uh, uh, Aubrey she likes them with the cabbage on top I'm not a fan of the cabbage on top of the gorditas but I'm a fan on it with salad and all that uh, tasty good stuff but yeah, so once you got your gordita, your beans, your turkey, and your cheese, it's time to put the sauce on top. The sauce makes the dish. The sauce is going to melt the cheese. The sauce is going to soak up into the turkey, and it's also going to soak up in the gordita. So if you don't eat these fast enough, then the sauce is going to just make that... Uh, that masa really soft but that's good too you know either way it's going to taste good so just grab yourself a good size spoon I'm using a third cup so I just grab a scoop and just go on top and uh, And that's it and that's it you guys uh, that's how you make uh, your gorditas it takes around an hour or so to make it all depends on how fast you make them it took me more than a, an hour to make because you know I'm filming but uh, if you guys do the steps by steps like I showed you guys you should be able to make these gorditas on your own uh, you don't have to use you don't have to use wild turkey you can also substitute it with chicken and that's what we usually do but today for wild game Sunday I chose wild turkey All right, guys I, I took a, th a bite out of this but uh, to end this uh, episode uh, wild game Sunday I'm gonna take a taste test for you guys Mm. 
There's a lot of flavor, a lot of texture in these gorditas. You know, you got the crunchiness from the gorditas. Uh, you got that uh, zesty taste from the refried beans because I got the jalapeno ones. And also you got the flavor from the sauce. Everything that I put in there into the, like uh, the tomato paste, tomato sauce, and the chunky tomatoes, the oregano, the salt and pepper, and the garlic powder in there. It all mixes in together and makes this dish uh, really great. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I like making it. Uh, don't forget to press that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And also put a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to make next. Uh, I, I got a ton of deer in the fridge. So just give me any recipe for deer. Uh, maybe some duck. I think I got some goose in there. I, I think I found one yesterday when I was digging out this uh, turkey. So maybe next weekend I'll make goose. I just got to really make sure it's goose. Or it could be something else. I don't know. I will see, right? Alright you guys, uh, like I said before, thank you guys for watching this episode of Wild Game Sunday. There will be more coming, more episodes coming. So, like I said before in other videos, uh, help support this channel, help us out. You know, just uh, copy and paste, put it on your Facebook so other people can watch and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, anything helps. I will... Uh, appreciate it I appreciate every view that uh, I see on these videos even when it's like 5 to 10 I still get excited um, just check out the rest of my videos I think this is episode 3 or 4 I can't remember even though I didn't make that many yet I just got a bad memory but yeah you guys I'm just gonna end it here uh, like I said before thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your weekend